You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Hey, we're finding an inverse of this trigonometric function, but we have a game plan. A game plan. It's the same plan it's always been. It's that four-step process. One, change f of x to y. Why? Because it's easier on the i than i. Interchange my x and y. That's the important part. Then we solve for y. And that last step, that step you're going to forget. You're going to want to replace y with f inverse of x. What's next? Well, now, this is on a restricted domain. Because if we look, ooh, can you see down there? You can. Yeah, man. I went and I drew our function. It's not one-to-one. -one. Doesn't pass the horizontal line test. Yes. So they put a restriction on it. They put a restriction on it. And it's all like... And then they go and they get rid of those pieces. Why? So that it's one to one, so that it has an inverse. I'm up here. Oh, that is that said. Oh, right said. All right, Fred. That's why they put this at F. What the F? Step one, replace F of X with Y. Why? Because it's easier on the I. Then I. I'm just going to go and I'm going to rewrite that argument now. Step two, interchange x and y. Oh boy. Step two, so now x is equal to five times the sine of five y plus six. Sick. Now what? Now we solve for y. So I go and I divide both sides by all of it by five by five. Uh-huh. So then x over five is the sine of five y plus six Sick. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to solve for y. So how do I get rid of that sign? I inverse sign inversely. I have the sign of, wait for it, wait for it. This would be step three. So the sign inverse of x over five, that's going to be, now the sign inverse of the sign, they're inverse operations. So I go and I get rid of the sign. Oh boy. That's a five y y plus six. Sick. Now I back that math up. I subtract off that six and I have a minus six plus that sine inverse of x over five. That's going to be five y. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. So I divide both sides by five and I am also going to use my reflexive property of equality. So I have my y. That's going to be a, a minus six fifths sick plus one fifth because I'm dividing by this five, the sine by the five. So that's one fifth of the sine inverse of x minus five. Okay. Now what? That last step, that fourth step, that step that you're gonna forget, I'm gonna take it to the middle. Yeah, hit that middle. So what? Um, step four. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, replace y with f inverse of x. Mm -hmm. What's next? I'm gonna rewrite that. That's that minus six divided by five, and then plus that one fifth, and then that's a sine inverse of x over five. But wait, what's next? Ooh, now what? My new domain is my old range because this important part right here, when you interchange x and y, you're interchanging the domain and range. So then I'm down here and ooh, what was my amplitude of my old function? That was a five and then that was a minus five. Why? Because it's the number in front of the sign. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, so now what? So my new domain is my old range. So what do I get out of this? I'm going to go get out of this, and my new x is going to be bound above and below by a minus 5 and a 5. So then, um, mm, mm, yeah, box and flower. Oh, that's the first flower of the day.